Welcome back to Carnadius.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Six Months of Set Theory and Higher Order Logic. This is month number two, looking at operations and relations of sets with a new video every single day for the whole month of October. In this video, we're going to be looking at what is bijection in set theory. Now, relations can have several different properties. They can be reflexive, they can be transitive, they can be symmetrical, they can be bijective, surjective, injective, and many more things. Today we're going to look at what makes a relation bijective. A bijective relationship is one where there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between members of the domain and members of the range. So put another way, a bijection relation over its domain and range is one where both it and its inverse are functions. For each member of the domain, there is one and only one member of the range that is paired with it and vice versa. So each half of the beginning and the end of the function pair perfectly with each other. Bijective functions are both injective and surjective, which we'll cover in an upcoming video, in two upcoming videos, in fact. An example of a bijective function in real life might be the relation is the spouse of is bijective from the class of all monogamously married people onto the class of all monogamously married people. Everyone in the first class is matched with exactly one and only one member of the second class, and all members of the second class are matched with exactly one and only one member of the first class. All members of each class have exactly one and only one match. The relation is the spouse of would not be bijective from the class of all monogamously married people into the class of all people, as for a couple reasons, as there are some elements in the second class which would not match with any elements in the first, people who are not married at all, or people who are in polygamous marriages. Note that bijection is a tripartite relation between a function and two classes. For a function f to be bijective from a onto b, it means that a is the domain of f, b is the range of f, and each member of a is paired with exactly one and only one member of b in f, and vice versa. Formally, we might define b F A B, the three part relation of F is bijective from A onto B as follows. Ooh, is a long one. For all functions F and all classes A and B, F is bijective from A onto B means by definition for all C, if C is a member of A and then there exists some D such that D is a member of B and the ordered pair CD is a member of F. All members of A have at least one corresponding value in B. And for all E, if CE is a member of F, the, then E is identical to D. All members of A have only one corresponding value in B. And for all J, if J is a member of B, then there exists some K such that K is a member of A and KJ is a member of F. And for all L, L, if Lj is a member of F, then L is identical to K. That's the same two rules, but for the other way around in the directions of the classes. We will call this bijection definition in proofs. Up next, what is injection in set theory. Check out a new video every single day for the whole of October with six months of set theory. Subscribe, hit that notification bell if you like this content and you want to see more, and you want to make sure you catch every single video in the six months of set theory. Watch this video and more here at carneades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.